Hey, what's wrong? I'm just mad at my streak of bad luck lately. You see, if I put this here and he puts it here, and if I put this here and he puts this here, I cannot win! Okay, chill! You are smart enough to get through this, and you are also smart enough to have a pal who can help you get through it with the help of one uh, thing called... I know, I know. Our most trusted and favourite subject, math. Don't think I haven't thought of it. Actually, it's called probability. Probability is just a fancy word for the chance of something happening. In math, it's a number between 0 and 1. So, the new baby in your family has an equal chance of being born a boy or a girl. That's half or 0.5 chance or probability of being a boy and half or 0.5 chance of being a girl. So, probability is math. Because if you think about it, what we're doing is we're taking a problem, identifying the chances of it happening, and then we combine it with math, and then we... Oh. How can math help you win at Monopoly? Here's how. Monopoly is a board game you might have played before. To move around the board, you throw the dice. The objective of the game is land on as many properties as possible, buy them and build houses and hotels on them. In other words, monopolize the board, monopolize, monopoly. Get it? Get it? Because on your property they land, they'll have to pay you rent and you'll get rich 100%. Sounds easy enough? Trust me, with math, they'll make it even easier for you to win. There are five tips to help you win in Monopoly. The first tip, if you want to win, buy the right properties. Everyone has their favourite properties, but some properties are more popular than others because while they cost a lot more, they'll also earn you a lot more. So people tend to think that if they own these expensive properties, they are more likely to earn more and therefore more likely to win. Wrong! Because in Monopoly, it's not how much you own or even how much you can charge, it's how often someone lands on your property that matters. Tip 2. The power of 7. Monopoly is a game of chance, which means that luck more than skill determines the winner. The good news is that a game of chance is not random. Mathematicians have used chance or probability or just simply how likely something will happen to calculate the truly hot properties. And the best ways to earn the most money to win in Monopoly. Yes, even mathematicians play Monopoly. So, in this game of chance, the dice is your best friend because it determines where you land and that can help you win. When you roll two dice, the chance of getting seven is higher than any other number. This is because there are more ways of getting seven with two dice than any other number. Next comes six and eight. Knowing this, you can plan when and what to buy. So, for example, if you land on Northumberland Avenue and I'm seven spaces behind you on chance, you might want to buy the property or build on it if you already own it. The probability or odds are I might just land on your property in my next row. Yes! <laughs> Tip number three. The chance and community chess cards also affect the way you play. Any five of these can happen when you land on Pick a Chance or Community Card. Pay money. Receive money. Go to jail. Get out of jail. Move to a different square on the board. Nine of the 16 cards on these decks will move you to any of these properties. So, take note of them. Tip four. Jail is popular. Jail is the most popular space on the board. 
It is so popular because there are so many ways you can end up there. Oh man! You can pick a chance or community card that sends you there, land on go to jail, or roll three sets of doubles in a row known as speeding. You may think the chance of speeding is low, but it isn't. In a game which will average 50 turns per player, the chance of speeding is 1 in 5 turns. That's 10 times in a game you could possibly speed your way to jail! Yikes! This means that the properties after jail are also the most visited. Put this together with the chance of rolling 7s and these properties become really hot. Experts have also worked out how often each property will be visited. And now you have more properties on your must-buy list. Once you've bought the prime properties, you need tip number 5. Know the number of houses you need to collect the most rent. Most players will buy one or two houses. If no one lands on a property, they stop building houses to cut their losses. Big mistake! The trick is to push through and buy that third house. That's the fastest and best way to earn back what you spent. The same goes for railroads. Make sure you buy at least three to four to maximize your profits. Okay, let me get it straight. Seven is the most likely number that will be rolled. This is followed by either six or eight. Jail is the most visited square. So property six to eight spaces after jail will be the best ones to buy. Meaning the orange, red and yellow properties are hot. So to maximize profits, build at least three houses or buy three or more railroads. Yes. And all this comes from probability or the understanding of chance. Yes. Well then, math rocks and I'm ready to roll! Did you enjoy this episode of Make It Count? Keep hanging with us. We have more ways to show you how math can make your everyday better. 